day. So let's move on from there. Everybody smiles today because like I said, there's just something in your heart that's happier and lifted when you beat Miami. Doesn't matter, you could be 0 and 12, but when you beat Miami, things are good on a Monday. Jeff Nixon is smiling as well. Um, and Jeff, for so many reasons, for so many reasons, it was just a great victory. Well, yeah, you know, you had the, the new interim head coach, Perry Fuel, you know, and this was his first victory. And it's just, what a difference a head coach makes in a team. Yes, In yes. the NFL today, it's it's not like college football. Mm -hmm. In college football, the guys get up for the game. and But in the NFL, I think you need a head coach that can inspire you. And, and really, you know, and you see him on the sideline talking to the players, talking to the coaches, getting in the referees' faces, and just, I think that, that type of enthusiasm just carries over to the players mm -hmm. and, and it really has helped this team uh, you know they I think they should have won the, the week before mm -hmm. and now you know they won today and you know the, the playoffs are a long shot I mean I, yeah. I really think their their chances are pretty slim there but nonetheless this is uh, we talked about this last week it's like his audition mm -hmm. and um, and he's done a great job with it and not only that but Ryan Fitzpatrick and I got to give you credit Linda you were, you were calling <laughs> for Ryan Fitzpatrick you know yep. months ago I was. You know, and and so, <laughs> so you know, things Ooh. things uh, didn't start out too well for the for the Bills, but. Uh you know, they, they got, finished. That yeah, was now, the important thing. Now this is down in Miami. Why are why are why are we watching? Well, <laughs> with the first half, they, they did have a couple of highlights, so we figured we would start from the beginning because it was really tied up right to what the third quarter, end of the third quarter, into the fourth quarter. In fact, this was a game, Jeff. I couldn't even the, watch because I was on the road to Pittsburgh. Yeah, but they were they were showing the highlights for when we played down there. Now now ah, we get now we get to Buffalo. Now okay. let's get to Buffalo. Yeah, let's we get had to Buffalo. The, the throwback jerseys never. So that going. and Freddie Jackson. You know, this was this was uh, something I think was a great call. You know put Freddie Jackson in there, start him. Yes. You remember earlier in the year. You, you know, said that. Yeah. I'll give you and I, and I, credit yeah, for that one Yeah, too. right. I did. I mentioned that last mm -hmm. week. They got to start the guy. Let's see what he can do for the whole game. He played well in the three games <gasps> that Marshawn Lynch was out. Mm -hmm. uh, Drayton Florence, the guy that just had that uh, interception, just, yeah. he did had a great game too. Isn't that great? And of course the pass to Terrell Owens, which broke Go wide open. <laughs> you know, in, in, you know a previous it. head coach might have just sat on the lead and tried yeah. to run the clock out, but we we had the killer instinct. And we I needed got, it. I yes. got to give it to Perry Fuel. You know, he he went after them. He he said, you know, he had confidence in in uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and he said, look, if you get, if you have an opening, mm -hmm. let's take it. Let's be aggressive. And he was he was saying that all week long mm -hmm. with these guys. He said, we are going to attack. We're going to be aggressive. We're not going to sit back and let this team dictate to us. We're going to dictate to them. And so, go T.O. Yeah, I love it. Love it. <laughs> Love it, I love, love it. it. He got up on the bench there, and he, you know, mm -hmm. he did his thing there. But it's good to see him getting the ball the way he yes, should. Yes, because he can add so much to that locker room. He really you know? can. And and when you do, when you have a player of his talent mm -hmm. and caliber, you've got to find a way to get the football to him. And uh, now that they're, we're finding a way, we see what can happen. And I mean, the guy set our, our, our record for the longest play from the line of scrimmage yeah, in the history, history of the Bills. Uh, so we know what he's capable of, and it's just a matter of everybody else now performing. And there there were a lot of new faces that were in there yes. yesterday. I mean, guys that we've never heard of that are contributing, and it's just, it, it all goes back to just motivation. How motivated are you? How, how and that goes to the head coach mm -hmm. and the staff, and, and the players obviously have to do this And like you said too. last week, Jeff, they're playing for their jobs. They're playing for their jobs, yeah. They're, they're auditioning now. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Perry Fuel, depending on how the rest of the season uh, goes. Yes. We don't know. Right. I, I'm hoping that they can they can win Thursday night. Mm -hmm. They play the Jets. That's that's going to be exciting. Uh, then they 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 come back or they go away and they play a game and then they come back and play the New England Patriots. So we've got two uh, division rivalries that are coming in here. And if we if we can beat those guys, that you know that may bode well for Perry right. Fuel and his uh, future here in Buffalo. If he continues to succeed, I'd love to see him as a candidate. Yeah, for and, next and year. to have faith in um, in Ryan Lindell to oh, kick that yeah. kick, the yep. longest kick for him How about it's that? the second longest in the history of the Bills organization and uh, you know they just they, they, and they miss, he missed the first one and I, he they, missed a 44 even, yard field there's goal there's an article earlier. where it says that he told me look we're gonna need you later again yeah, you know, don't worry you know, and, Hang that's, in there. and that's the kind of stuff a head coach needs to yes. you know say to a player to, to, to you know liven them up you know because you obviously you don't feel good when you when you miss a field goal and uh, you know to give him that opportunity there <gasps> you know to hit that and, and the wind was with them but uh, and, and he cleared the bar by maybe only four feet or whatever doesn't but, matter uh, it doesn't matter it, it went <laughs> it through the matter. uprights and that uh, just and, what, and what you know, Jeff, the, the fact that they were so active in the fourth quarter they could spell the defense 
And so right. they didn't have this exhausted yeah. defense on the field. And, and, and yeah, because it was very important. At the beginning of the third quarter, the Dolphins drove down, and it was like an 86-yard drive. And, and we were like all thinking, oh, no, they're going to fall apart yeah. again in the second half like we've done. We end up outscoring them 24 to nothing in the fourth didn't quarter. did that feel good, huh? Oh, it's yeah. Good and, it's, fair you know, and, and, and the defense came up big. They got the interceptions. Uh, Dante Whitner had one, too. And it just uh, it all fell into place for them. And, it, you know, they, they were aggressive. They went, they went after Chad Henney, you know, and Chad didn't have the best game. But that, that a lot of that is due to the fact that we were pressuring him and, and making plays on both sides of the ball. It was lovely. Now, listen, yeah. we have a big game Thursday. Maybe this will help right. sell tickets in Toronto because I understand that they <laughs> could still, you know, they can squeeze a few more people in there. Can you come back on Friday? And, and instead of next Monday. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Can we do that? Sure, absolutely. Because yeah, it wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah, but you know, yeah. and now it's, it's become very exciting again. I know, watch I know. and see how they do up yeah. against the Jets. I, and I hope they can beat these guys. You know, they got a young quarterback, mm -hmm. Mark Sanchez, and he's, you know, he's had some rough spots, but then he, if, if you let that guy get into a rhythm, he can be pretty good, too. So uh, I'm looking forward to this Thursday night game. We're going to be in front it, of the whole just, nation. Yes, and, and you know, Jeff, it just seems like they let the stallions out of the barn. Yeah, let them run. Yeah, just you know? let them go, you know. Get, you know, if you make a, a bad play because you were going full speed, so be it. You right. know, but but go full keep speed and just go. Just yeah, keep it going. Yeah, this there. seems like it should have been our direction from day one, but yeah, it's yeah. wonderful to see, and it's it got to be so gratifying for the it team. Is. So congratulations I, to them. Yeah. Oh, that feels so good. All right, everybody, for the latest Buffalo Bills report and all your favorite sports information, you watch Sports Final.